Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Akash Tibthar, Toxicoder, and I'm accompanied here with Alberto, BTCO.ninja, and we are going to talk about how to join Fedora. Before we get started, though, I want to thank Murray, Whipple, Uncle for their support in making this presentation happen, and Adiksha, because basically, we would be speaking what she wrote. We will delve into things Fedora Join SIG has been up to and what we make sure, uh, what we do to make sure that the newcomers come, they see, and they conquer, and they become valuable contributors to the community. I will now pass it on to Alberto, who would talk about the things the newcomers would like to know about and the exciting subprojects, SIG teams, and everything else in between that they would want to know. Over to you, Alberto. What is Fedora? Fedora is a community from a lot of, of parts of the world. Um, and we had, uh, you know, uh, a vision to, to create a, uh, the vision to the world where benefits from the free and open source software, build an inclusive and welcome and open-minded communities. Uh, our mission was to uh, create an innovative platform for hardware, clouds, containers, and enable software developers uh, and, another, and another users and the community members to be tolerant to solutions for their users. So, so this is Fedora. Uh, uh, Fedora was organized, organized in three big bodies of leadership. Uh, Fedora Council, uh, FESCO is a uh, uh, technical committee, and uh, Minsher represents the outreach leadership, leadership in Fedora. So, we, what we are looking for are uh, new contributors. Well, we look for potential, not a Polish uh, uh, skills. You know, uh, we want to learn together from technology, from from design, from a lot of of of, of, of topics. So we encourage encourage prospect contributors in communication with existing contributors. Uh, we provide uh, self-contained and uh, well-documented issues for newbies to feel better, feel safe. So uh, we'll, we will give to help prospective contributors to turn in on successful, on successful ones. And, um, you know, we want to provide a comfortable communication from channel from prospective contributors. You know, uh, we are looking to uh, uh, present a healthy community to the new contributors. Um, um, and yes, we are, we are well, being well welcoming for any one who want to contribute. Uh, what we... Uh, how do I join for the community? It's very simply. We need first you need our five account. Uh, Fedora account system uh, keeps track of Fedora project contributors and projects to work on. So it uses a grant authentication authorization for various for many components. Uh, uh, these give us give us um, identity in the project, you know, so we'll use it in many places and we'll give you a welcome ticket. This welcome ticket helps us to, to track the, you advance under the community, uh, help you and, and, so, and look in place for switch to your, your interests. Uh, ticket helps us money uh, for track, you know, uh, advances, uh, projects, uh, and many other, other things. So, 
what doing what do a new contributor when starting the project well the first thing is make a a self introduction a, a start the exploration of the project looking place places for contribute and interact with another uh, contributors uh, by example here in the release party in another uh, in another uh, place less nest or flock or using the erc channels or telegram so and uh, uh, then we are part of the the community uh, and can help another contributors to on board in the project uh, well this is very important uh, we have the four apps uh, for 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 the community we are looking for freedom friends features and fears you know freedom is very important we are advancing of the free software and and content uh, by its uh, examples of content are uh, by example by example if the com blog the community blog or the fedora magazine their app is examples of the free content and free software you know everything we package is free software um, friends we are looking for create and maintain and carry a, a healthy community inclusive community um, where we can advance together from the free software, no matter, no matter the, the age, the skill, and many other things, no? The features, we are looking for you know, innovation uh, and make Linux powerful and flexible and useful, and useful, useful for many users. And the first, the first is one of the favorites is we're committed with the innovation no you the we provide the lace stables and robots useful and powerful free software in fedora is is great so where the one is do i can start contributing well the uh, we had many technical sub projects by example the in, in top, we have the Fedora Engineering Centering Committee, which is an elected body for represent the technical leadership of Fedora. Uh, they do the, the decisions about the technical innovation we we are adding in the in the project. Uh, Fedora modularity is. Um, Modularity is an optional repository for provides additional versions for of software and in and independent uh, life cycles. This means we can have multiple versions of some software for and this form the developers can start uh, three maintaining software from versions for on different versions this is important we have the fedora containers uh, it's about the discussion usage uh, usage and maintainment maintenance development of fedora basic basic develop, uh, containers neuro fedora i love neuro fedora neuro fedora is an initiative that provides provide a rate to use fedora based up free and open source uh, tools for neuroscience is great we had the tele irc seek is a voluntary group to create the bridges bridges between telegram irc and another uh, channel of communication we have fedora ci making circuit operating system styles always ready for continued building and tested and set the package 
uh, Fedora websites and apps, uh, development and maintenance and administration of websites, uh, web, uh, and applications, the Fedora ELN, which uh, composed the um, emulate the Red Hat Enterprise Linux functionality is an uh, important one. Uh, the Fedora minimization objective is maintainers to try to maintain size optimization, optimi optimized content for in the lower amount of effort. Uh, we had the Fedora QA. Uh, the wall is continually improved the quality of the Fedora release and updates with continuum testing. The community platform engineering, the CPA, uh, is a team dedicated to support the Fedora, uh, the Fedora and Coros project infrastructure and release engineering. Also the Fedora i 3 uh, the goal is produce a Fedora i 3 based uh, Fedora spin where i 3 is E3 is uh, its 11 based uh, Windows Manager. <laughs> Sorry for the bad English. Uh, it's your turn. Thank you, Alberto. Talking about non technical part of things uh, of the community, we have FESCO. Uh, it's uh, like uh, the mindset community is just like FESCO. It fosters interaction and communication inside the community and takes care of the community's happiness, sustainability, operational strategies, stuff like that. Outreach revamp, if I remember correctly, is one of the exciting things that Mindshare helped to start. Then we have community operations or com ops, like the way we call it which helps provide tools, resources, utilities for different sub projects like the ones that Alberto just talked about across the Fedora universe to improve effective communication. Up next, we have Fedora documentation, wiki pages, quick docs, contributor guidelines, and Tora, you name it. And you'd find that this team is behind every documentation task in the community. And then we have, uh, this is my personal favorite that the badges, it takes inspiration from Mozilla's achievements and it helps recognize contributors for all the good stuff that they have been doing inside the community, as well as, uh, you know, you get to have the shiny badges too. Next slide. Then we have joint seg. Like Alberto already mentioned, we are well, what bridges the contributors, the newcomers with the community. Simply put, we help uh, the prospective contributors to get started with community engagement. Once that takes place, the next thing, what comes up is entirely up to the contributors. Fedora Magazine consists of tutorials, information, announcements from everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a user, contributor, developer, sysadmin, packager, or anything else. You can potentially become an author here if you're interested. Fedora localization aims to bring every single line of Fedora. That includes packages, websites, documentation, culture to you. And it doesn't matter if English is your first language or not. Fedora localization will make sure it reaches to you. Next slide, please. Now that we talked about uh, how the newcomers can join and the things that, that they can be a part of and the ways that they can contribute, let us talk more about how contributions can, take, uh, can be taken up by a notch with simple practices like we suggest. Of course, I do understand that uh, no two contributors have the same way of contributing, but these practices seem fit to most of people, so why not give it a try? Time commitment. We do understand that there are things to take care of in personal life, bills to pay, works to finish, and uh, there's day jobs. So we want the contributors to be very, very sure about how many hours they would like to be able to dedicate to Fedora. The next thing is to see if they're permitted by the work and if there are any rules related to work which does not allow them to do uh, contributions beyond their work time. And if you're allowed a bioavailability from your folks, 
for the time that you spend with us. Volunteering is rewarding, yes, but it should not come at a cost, should it? Joining just for the sake of contributing is one of the biggest mistakes most new contributors make. We at Fedora are much more than lines of codes, documentations, and graphics. We are friends. So newcomers are appreciated to take some time out, interact with folks, make friends. Uh, we love to meet new people and to answer questions. Now, if you have found something to work on and if you feel that it's just right, it is something that you want to work on down the line, I would suggest to hold on and observe first before jumping right in. You need to see how things are done and you need to understand why things are done the way they are. Moving on, uh, there is no assignment of work in Fedora, quote unquote assignment, because we believe that if you pick what you want to work on and if you contribute in your own way, that would be the best possible contribution for the community and for you as well. So grab something to work on that would be uh, fun or something that you're interested to work. And I believe that you'd have lots of fun in contributing. Picking something difficult to work on right away can be overwhelming and there would be a lots of chances of failure when you do that. So newcomers should always try to pick something easy to start with. And then if they feel like that, yes, this is something they would want to work on, then with the help of mentors, they can uh, go to the deeper end. Talking about mentors, finding contributors who have been the part of the community since some time now it's very important for you to become a successful contributor yourself. Uh, like there are stuff in packaging where you require sponsoring in order to become a packager. It's very important because mentors help you to do things in the right way. And finally, keep yourself busy. Like I always say that every contribution should end with that cheesy line in the movies that it always ends up with. Uh, you must have... Uh, when they say that this war is far from over, it, this is just the beginning. Such should be the nature of the contributions as well. So if one contribution is over, pat yourself on the back that, yes, I have done something of value and move on to the next one. Moving on. Being contributors uh, from various places across the globe, coming from different walks of life, doing different things in day jobs, Fedora is diverse and it is something to be proud of. It is something I call as uh, one of our biggest strengths. But yeah, there can be disconnects here and there. There can, can be miscommunications, misunderstandings, unhappiness, which might creep in. You never know. Uh, it comes down to us contributors, uh, every single one of us, to ensure that it is, it is kept to a minimum. The best case scenario is, well, to make sure that doesn't happen. But uh, we have some ground rules that we'll cover on the next slide. So these are the natures that we try to live up to. Uh, do not see them as obligations, but rather as responsibilities that, uh, yeah, I should live up to it if I'm a contributor. The first one is being considerate about what possible consequences can be for certain actions. In Fedora, every task is open, and uh, the task for documentation, corrections, and translations, commit and peg your be it anything, it might be used as a base for somebody else's work. At the same time, you can be using somebody else's work and proceeding on. So do take into account how your action can cause ripples and the consequences can be. So uh, that's what being considerate is all about, right? The second one is, well, it goes without saying, uh, disagreements are OK. They might happen day in and day out. But understanding that discussions should never turn into arguments, targeting opinions should never turn into targeting people. Being respectful is all about that. I mean, we face frustrations, and they can be frustrating. <laughs> but we should never let that turn into a personal attack. Finally, um, we did take some time out, didn't we? Uh, no, no, this slide is fine. The thank you slide. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's hoping that you weren't bored. Alberto, the final slide. Yeah, thanks. 
uh, we wouldn't keep you here for longer. Um, I would like to thank you all for your attention. And the links that you see uh, displayed on the slides can be found in the link that uh, Whipple just uh, pinned, as well as in the chat section. So feel free to reach out to us if you're interested to contribute to Fedora. And I would like to thank you again for being with us. Thank you for joining us. And we are open to questions. Don't seem to have questions as of now. Uh, we'll wait for some more, more, and uh, then I think we can close this. What do you say, Alberto? Matthew seems to have a question. If other people want to learn to give this presentation and to share the knowledge of how to get involved, how should they start? Well, uh, to start with, yeah. So uh, we did not uh, cover how they can you know, reach the place where they can provide presentations, did we? We covered everything else. Uh, but yes, uh, joining the community, getting to know people would definitely be one of the first things to do. Knowing how things are done and uh, to be able to justify why they are done in the first place. And then I believe that this all comes under um, community operations because uh, in order to make sure that the community thrives, it, uh, it has the strategies that it requires so uh, getting in touch with them can be one of the things that um, we would want to do if we are to come over here. And definitely, the slides uh, do have a CC BY 4.0 international license. So please feel free to share these slides and reuse them as you see fit. So I believe we can close this presentation uh, by in a minute if we don't have any more questions. So uh, uh, Matthew, uh, I don't think, oh, Onurab, yeah, I think we have gone past the one minute time, so I think we can close. Thank you everyone for being here, for listening to our ramblings. I believe that uh, you can drop us, uh, drop uh, right at the Fedora join chats, be it on Matrix, on Discord, or on Telegram. Feel free to join right there and we can continue our conversations there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.